Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Jose. And I'm Emma. And we are both bad And today we got us some Subwizzle. I think during this whole quarantine we've had Subway once. Sounds about right. Yeah. I'm like, I don't know. It's weird. For some reason I'm like, is Subway less safe during a pandemic than other places but it's like just because you can see the assembly line doesn't mean that there's not still an assembly line at other places you know what i'm saying exactly and maybe it's like even i would say that it's even better because it's like an open assembly line yeah so you know what i mean so people are people see what you're doing exactly so you have yeah. to like true be Good. aware yeah. of like cleanliness and stuff were they wearing masks when you went in there the workers I don't remember. <laughs> it's weird. Like, now it's, like, <laughs> something you don't even notice anymore. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah. Anyway, I'm I sure got... They were. I got... So, we got two for five. And and as we've talked to you guys about in the past, here in San Francisco, you get shafted. Okay? So, here, like, all of our subways were, like, closed, closing early, closed permanently. We found one that was still open, but they, while they will do the two for five... Or two foot longs for five dollars each it's only like certain varieties so we had to get like either the meatball the cold cut combo ham or veggie delight so i got cold cut combo and he got meatball yes and we'll tell you guys all about our customizations why don't you tell them about yours um i think what i've had uh in the video we made the the only other subway video we have i think i got a meatball um, there's two sandwiches I love at Subway. It's their tuna, which if you it's haven't tried good. their tuna, run and yeah, get it because their so tuna good. is amazing. But another sandwich I like is their meatball marinara, and that's what I got today. Um, what I like to do, and hopefully, she ordered this through the app, so I'm hoping that they read the instructions and that they've been thoroughly trained to <laughs> take those instructions. But what I get is... Um, Italian herbs and cheese bread. Um, I get that toasted, just the bread toasted. Yeah, that's key. He doesn't like the meat or the cheese or anything else toasted. Just the bread toasted alone. Yeah, I mean the meatballs are already hot, so we don't have to worry about heating those. But yeah, just the bread, then the meatballs, and then I added. Um, I asked for pepper jack cheese, but I see. They sprinkle all this pepper jack and uh, parmesan, which I won't complain. But yeah, usually it's pepper jack, lettuce, tomato, onion, uh, bell peppers, and pepperoncinis. And just a little bit of mustard. Yum. And I got, um, are you going to keep your, pa your paper on the plate? Mm, maybe not. Do you want to <laughs> help a brother out? Oh yeah, much better, huh? Yeah. Okay, so you guys may notice a difference in the lighting here. We're, we're trying our best. And so we noticed that the food was washed out. So hopefully this is a little better. You know, anyway. Um, so I got cold cut combo, which is basically just like, it's just cold cuts. It's like, kind of like bologna or something. And um, it's like garden variety cold cut. And so I got um, lettuce, which I asked for double and they certainly did not put double. Uh, tomato. Um, cucumber, red onion, I also asked for double, doesn't really look very double-ish. Um, olives, pickles, jalapeno, and I think that's everything, and mayonnaise, and pepper, which, yeah, it's, it's about what I ordered, I think. Not too far off. I don't get the bread toasted. I do like what he does with just getting the bread toasted, but they really, unless you're there to tell them that in person, they usually don't get it right, and we had to order these on the app, so I didn't want to risk it. So without further ado, how's yours? It's good. Mm. I haven't had Subway in so long. Wow. Yeah, Subway is, is good. Mm-hmm. I've missed it. Mm. Yeah. Give it a try if you like. I have a Coke. I'm drinking it with my silicone straw from Happy, which I've said this before, but Happy, I seriously use these every day. 
I have a ruby red grapefruit soda water. And we have on hand some kettle cooked jalapeno and chips. Sorry about the cream flavor. Good. Okay. Whenever, like, Jose and I have shared enough sandwiches that I can honestly say, like, to me, when I hear his sandwich descriptions, I'm like, that doesn't sound good. There's a lot of edits I would make, but I will say, there. but I will say that when I do end up like sharing a sandwich with him or like having a bite of something, um, I usually like what he orders. So. Thanks. <laughs> We were talking about this the other day about Subway. How... Actually, not just Subway, but like... Sandwich places in general. Mm -hmm. Like, we've been ordering from this place. Which, funny story, we looked it up. We are looking for sandwiches, you know. We looked it up. And there's this place called Miss Tomatoes. And they have a website, and it looks like legit. Like, you know... <laughs> Teddy just like walked through our microphone cords and got completely stuck in them. Anyway, <laughs> you look it up, beautiful pictures, just like a normal restaurant website. And then we're like, hey, that looks actually really good. They're like sandwich combinations, and like their sandwiches look legit. Then we're like driving to it and we pull up and it's a liquor store. Mm -hmm. And they just have like, you know, like a, a little kitchen area like or whatever, counter. like a sandwich counter where they're making these sandwiches. But from mm -hmm. the outside, you would never know that they're like yeah, making food in there. Liquor it, it looks like a really like urban liquor store. <laughs> and so... Like we drove out there, we saw the sandwiches online, so we were like, well, might as well just try it. Mm -hmm. It was really good. So good. Mm -hmm. But since then, we've ordered them twice, and we kind of like... three times. Three times, yeah. And we've placed the order over the phone, so we just go and pick them up. And I don't know, it's always weird ordering sandwiches over the phone. Mm -hmm. Because like... I don't know. I like my sandwiches, like, you know, a certain way with certain things on them. And who I just doesn't? feel, yeah, who doesn't? And I just feel like I'm doing too much. Like, I'm like a burden on them. Because you'll have, like, a sandwich that's posted and it's close to what I like. You know what I mean? It has all the ingredients except for a couple of things. Mm -hmm. And then I just feel weird subbing out things. Yeah. Yeah. So you're like, I'm not worthy of just asking for what I really want. So I find myself doing that too. Like, okay, I'll just have that cheese that I don't want because mm -hmm. I just I don't want to be like an a-hole but yeah like Jose he he's the big big guy on uh, only toasting the bread you know that so that's always like a weird thing to describe and it literally doesn't matter where we order sandwiches from every time he asks for that they're shocked seemingly appalled confused like a roller coaster of emotions and they always ask him like well what kind of cheese do you want on it and he's like no i don't want the cheese toasted and they're like what kind of cheese yeah. and he's like i'm not discussing cheese until you put <laughs> my bread in the toaster so but i seriously say can i have my bread toasted i turn around and don't answer any questions until i see <laughs> toasted bread coming up mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. let's talk he goes like this or ham or whatever yeah so we were saying that like the best sandwiches, the best sandwich shops we've been to are the ones that have like the little um, piece of paper where you can just check off whatever it is that you like. Yeah. So sandwich places, get on that. Yeah. When I was a kid, we had a place called Barry's Market. We would ride our bikes down to it and they had those like order forms and it was like, you're never going to get a messed up sandwich because mm -hmm. the order form has everything the person needs to know. Because, like, last time 
so we love this place this place is called miss tomatoes we've really been loving it and um the the like proprietor is so nice when you go in there like jose went in and he gave him like free samples of like food that they make there like um but over the phone like baba comes, ganoush he, he, yeah baba ganoush he comes across a little uh, tense like mm -hmm. but i think it's just it's you know it's just a phone thing because he's a lovely man but the last time we ordered like it, it was just it, it was embarrassing how much back and forth it took on the phone with this guy I seriously had to get off the phone with him, like apologize, get off, and call him back. Collect yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not kidding you. It was it was too much. Like, and then even after all of that dialogue, um, my sandwich still wasn't right. <laughs> it was good, but it wasn't right. So, God, I miss Subway. Mm hmm And I don't get why restaurants are like. I don't know if it's the same way where you guys are from. But, like, restaurants are closing hella early. Yeah. And it's like, what's the point? Like, people still get hungry at dinner time and still would like to get some food. Do you think Is it, it has just to because? Do, I don't know. I was going to say with, like, cutting back from staffing. Like, mm. they only want one shift for the day. Like, one set of employees, maybe. I don't know. If you guys know, let us know. Because I find it weird. Again, I you, I would assume that the clientele is there. The demand is there because, yeah. you know, pandemic or not, people get tired of cooking at home. Yeah. And and for folks who are, like, shelter, still, like, sheltered in place or, like, quarantining or staying home, I feel like that's, like, even more reason to, like, eat dinner kind of late. I don't know about you guys, but when I'm, like, not going into an office every day my like meal routine starts to get pushed out later you know hmm hope you guys are hanging in there with this quarantine stuff it's it's weird to be honest with you um who knows what's gonna happen and you know yeah who knows what the world is gonna look like yeah. post quarantine yeah all kinds of weird stuff and you know the internet social media all that stuff it's such a toxic place it's always been in my opinion but now more than ever everybody's just like on their soapboxes like just arguing and yeah folks have like more time too to be sitting around on the internet so it just seems like everyone's just arguing all the time about everything it's like i get it there are issues that that are big and people need to have an opinion on them and but i just wish people could be a little more constructive in the way they talk to each other yeah yeah like you're never going to convince somebody of your viewpoint if that's your goal never going to convince somebody if you're calling them names or just being hostile so you know Effective communication, people. Mm -hmm. I understand and hear that you think that X, Y, and Z. From, My opinion... From the communication standpoint. From a communication standpoint. Let's communicate clearly, guys. Look at this. I don't know. Hopefully this camera is going to cooperate with us a little bit. Maybe. Huh? But it's good. Mm-hmm. And you forget how filling these footlongs are. Yeah. Haven't had them in a while. I hope you guys enjoyed my uh, cooking debut video. Mm. And um, I was going to leave it at that because I was going to say, I'll cook again soon. But then that's just like, why Don't do you open do that can of worms. Yeah. Yeah, we just posted that video today. But I actually haven't seen it yet. So I'm excited to see it when we're done with this. But yeah, I, I was edited them and then at night we <clears throat> we take a load off and we grab some popcorn and then we look at the video. We don't. We really hardly <laughs> ever eat popcorn. But um yeah, we used to have like our YouTube time right before bed. We like have to resort to watching other things now because nobody is putting on any videos. Mm -hmm. Like we go into our subscription area. And it'll be like two videos and then everything that was already there for the past two weeks, you know? Like. 
I mean, and I know we're not the best at like consistently putting out videos, and I hope that changes because we do want to put out more videos. But there's like people who like went months without posting anything. Then they post the, just the video. I would like for them to acknowledge that they mm -hmm. were gone for a while. Mm -hmm. Am I just nosy? Yeah. You know, I'd like to hear, hey, I've been gone for a little bit, but yeah, I've been afraid of the quarantine. Mm -hmm. Something. But a lot of people are doing that, and then they're saying, oh, I'm going to start putting out videos, and then they don't. Mm -hmm. But Jose and I don't really like to watch the creators who have, like, millions of subscribers. Like, we've talked about that before. It just doesn't keep our interest. I don't know. All the coldest water bottles and all the bullshit. Yeah. We like, like, the smaller channels. So. I'll take not the so cold water bottles. I like my drinks really cold. But, um. But. So, that could be kind of why we don't have a lot of content to watch. Is because we like to watch the smaller channels. And they don't put out as much as the bigger channels. But, you know, whatever. Yeah. We're getting, our, we're getting our Sopranos in. Mm-hmm. We are filling the void with a lot of shows. And one of those, The Sopranos, we also finished, uh, we caught up and finished all of the Fargo mm -hmm. uh, seasons. We did? Mm hmm. We're done? Yeah. Mm, wow. That's a bummer. Mm. Jose mans the remote. <laughs> I have no idea, like, what's going on. I just show up, just like I do right here. But Fargo, hell of a good show. Mm hmm. Um. But yeah, if you know small channels that we might like, let us know. Yeah. But thanks for sticking around for our channel, you guys. Like. Jose was saying that we don't put out videos consistently. I feel like we're sort of consistent in that we pretty much put out one video per week, but we're not regular on what day it is. Yeah. yeah. So if you subscribe to our channel, you can pretty much count on there being one video per week. Yeah. For a while, we're like, we're going to try to do two, but we honestly, if we had a better setup, we would do it more often but it's just a huge production to get all this stuff set up to make these videos so you know you don't need to hear us complain about that anymore but um but yeah we love hearing what you guys are up to what you're watching what youtube channels are piquing your interest right now and what television shows we like to talk about all those things but mostly let us know how you're doing yeah how you guys are holding up yeah I am full, but I'm going to finish this. <laughs> it's a messy sandwich. There's a lot of stuff falling off, but mm -hmm. um, when you get that bite, it's a really good bite. Yeah. Sometimes when I eat like a foot long sandwich like this or like a deli sandwich from like a real deli where they're like about this big. Yeah. It's kind of weird to think about like, did I just eat a whole baguette of bread? You did. <laughs> just what I needed. Now it's just like open face status because I can't keep it closed. That's what she said. Mmm. Now I'm pulling off pieces of bread so that I can be more healthy or lack. <laughs> it's probably like 20 calories right there. Also, I'm just getting really full. Mm -hmm. So, if you guys have any requests, let us know. 
We're, we still do have some like on our list of things that you guys have requested. Um, a lot of the things you guys have requested are um, cooking videos, which I love and which I'm down to do, but I think some of our viewers also like to see like restaurant food, so maybe I'm wrong about that, I don't know. But, but anything you, you wanna see, whether it's cooked or bought, let us know. We really want to do Panda Express because Express. Panda Express is really good. But yeah, I, I went for a while. Panda Express had um, like a deal going on. You can get like their family meal or something for like 20 bucks. Like tons of food. It's just what we need. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we were talking about like twenty dollars is less than you would pay to get two like meals like normal like you know one item meals or two item meals or whatever from there so is it just me or whenever you go to panda express and you look that they have a new menu item you have to try it i mean taste it right taste sample? it yes, yeah. yes i mean Why samples regardless of whether there's a new item or not but yeah no, the, the, what you have to do is you have to ask for a sample of the extra expensive things, mm -hmm, like the shrimp mm -hmm. things, because they have to give you a whole shrimp in the sample, because it's not like they can cut it up, or you know. And then you leave, come back wearing a hat and glasses, and then that's where it again. Or you just walk in and you're like, oh, one <laughs> sample, please. No, I wasn't here before. So yeah, guys, that was Subway. Um, thank you for joining us. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, give it a thumbs down. Let us know in the comments. Let us know our video you know wasn't fresh. Exactly. Uh, that being said, we have more videos coming up. So stick around. We will be. Bye, Megan.